What's up everyone, it's Castle Gamer here and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a showcase of our base. Because a lot of you on the Reddit forums have been asking uh, where our base is actually positioned and you think it's really cool um, how it's placed. So I'm going to be showing you where it is and going over what exact stuff we have. So if you're looking for where our base is, it is in the small, it's on the small little island at the bottom right hand corner of the map. You could probably go to the coordinates of 85 lat and 85 lon, and it would take you to close enough to the bay, uh, uh, to the island, sorry, where you'd see this. So when you're approaching, you'll see this little like cove type area, obviously without the behemoth gate and all that, unless someone else has already built there. And you'll see these little miniature islands next to it. But I'm going to go show you now the main attraction to this whole island. Okay guys, so as you approach closer into the island, you'll see that there's this nice little cropped out bit of a mountain here. We've decided to build in here as we've got like these massive... Oh, the lens flares in the way. You can't really see much. Let me just sort that out. <laughs> so we've got these three massive behemoth gates here to stop people actually getting into our base. Just to section it off. And we've placed these normal dinosaur gates all around the top, eventually getting them all to metal. Uh, the reason we've done this, because a lot of you are probably thinking, why not? Why haven't we used just normal walls? It's because it actually turns out to be cheaper to put them all the way around, because they take up a lot of space. They take about three walls in length of space, and it turns out to be cheaper than having like three or four high walls all around the base. Plus, I think they do have a bit more health, and once we get more metal, we're going to have metal spikes all around them as well, which will be very, very defensive and stopping people getting in from the top. Now, down here in the bottom of the behemoth gates, we got six of the plant turrets, which won't really do anything. They're just to scare people, really. Obviously, if they're very strong people who are trying to attack us, they'll just blow them up instantly because they're really easy to kill. Now, going into the base is... There's a lot of room in here. Well, it won't be for much longer as we've got a lot of pets. Just look at it. All these dinos we've got. Oh yeah, we finally got the saddle for the giant bird. It took us ages. We had to trade eight Rex eggs for it because none of us are high enough level to research it. But we've got so many dinos. Oh, and also, look at these awesome paint jobs we got on the Rexes. Pretty cool. Took me a while to do. Well, actually, I didn't paint it by hand. I used a skin, but it cost so much paint. <laughs> Thank you for that. Game unit. Stop it now. <laughs> Alright, so we've also recently tamed a level 92 Spino, here it is, it's level 123 now, and I'm going to stop talking about the dinosaurs for a minute, because I'll get sidetracked, sidetracked, and I'm just going to show you the base. So, if you're flying over, uh, you're not going to get very far, as you can see, we've got two minigun turrets here, they look like miniguns, they don't shoot like miniguns, but I'm going to call them minigun turrets anyway, so we've got one here on that, uh, well, what do you call them? pillar and we got another one here also we've got four of them in our main little bunker area here so we've got one in this little stone bunker area here which is pretty cool and we got three up there we got one on the second floor and two on the third floor one next to the generator and one next to the plants this is mainly to stop people like once they've blown through those gates and taken out these they're going to be right in line of fire of all four turrets up there, and they're going to get absolutely destroyed. It's going to be quite funny to watch if that ever happens. I'll show you inside the base now. So inside our base we have two fridges because we're a bunch of greedy idiots and we just need all less food. No, I'm joking. We mainly just store a lot of rotten meat. Mainly this is for the narcotics from our farm. And we've got a bunch of eggs. And oh look, we've got another two cooked meat jerky stored in there in the fridge quickly. Oh, and I have this. How do I get this? I have no idea. Okay then. Uh, so we have all our chests here. We have them all numbered, not numbered, labelled. But almost every item in the game. We couldn't fit every single item in the game on them. So I've got some more cement and paste. Been cooking up a lot of this because we need it to make the rest of our base metal. 236. Not too bad. So we have more of these chests here. Loads of loads of blueprints, they're all crappy blueprints though. But that's pretty much it for downstairs area. We also have a turret inside, uh, just in case somebody blows in from the top. They come down that ladder, they're going to have a nasty surprise waiting for them right there. 
So upstairs is our little. Oh yeah, this is the generator room here. Now we have the grill. Let me cook all of it. Oh, somebody's left these in here for too long. I'll just you know renew my stack of meat down there. So we have three of our refining forges here for getting metal, but soon we'll be using our massive beard up there. As you can see, it's got refining forges on the back. We're going to use that for going mining. It's pretty cool. And then we have these awesome little turret windows here, which I really, really like these. I find them kind of cool. How uh, you could just like close the turrets, uh, close the windows up, and then you just imagine if there was like some sort of alarm system where it would just flash, a massive light would be flashing red, the alarm would go off, and then all these windows would open up and just start firing at whoever's out there. That would be pretty cool. I'd love to see that. Uh, we have all our campfires here for our charcoal, but we haven't used them ever since we placed them because we just steal charcoal off everyone else. This is our little, oh, if I can get a bit harder. This is our little plant room. We have two turrets up here. We've got one here, and then I have my little sniping post here. So if we're getting raided, I can just uh, shoot at people. Like, get back! Stay away! Yeah. So this is our little plant room. Not much plants in here at all. Uh, we've got four of the advanced crops. We've got the average save root, citronal, rock carrot, and long grass. We have another turret here just for more firepower. Oh, we've got an intruder. We've got an intruder, everyone. Let's shoot him. Let's see how well this goes. There we go. Come on. Oh, what? It didn't go through this. There's a hitbox on the turret's too big. You're joking me. Let's try again. <laughs> I got him. I got a. I got game unit. <laughs> oh, it's broken. <coughs> okay, okay, enough of that. So, <laughs> that was quite funny. I'll get rid of the rage in a minute. Um, so these narco berry plants here actually produce about. They produce, I think it's 1,400 narcotics a day, roughly. I'll probably double that because they've almost gone back up to 300 now. They get about 500 to 600 narcotics every day, uh, 1,400 narco berries, I mean, they yield. <laughs> oh, this is raging in chat. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much up there. We've got three beds here, we'll probably need more, but this is only if we're ever getting raided, so we can respawn quick enough. And this is our downstairs area. We've had to block a lot of this off, because there's actually a hole down there. Like, behind that weird looking cliff face there, if you walk through there, you fall under the map, and it ends up in the arse, it's like being in the cave, it's not very nice. If you ever fall down there, you'll be very, very sorry about it. So, I'm going to go over all our pets anyway, considering I've got time to do this. Uh, we have a bunch of wolves. How many do we have? Five, I think. Five wolves. we got our uh, Bronto over there. Two stegos. We've got three of these eagles, and they were a pain in the ass to Oh, also, it not seen the side of the vault. We've got a whole load of guns. A lot of guns, implants, a couple of C4, rocket launchers. Oh, I need some more bullets, actually. I'll take some of those. Maybe a bit more. There you go. Scuba gear, loads of these um, rare seeds and crops and stuff. They're actually really common now. So, we've got three Carnos. We do want female ones. Um, we were kind of unlucky to get three male ones in a row, so we don't get any eggs from them, which is kind of disappointing, but it's all right. Uh, we've got a female Bronto here, we get an egg every like 24 hours, it's not the best in the world. And then we have this awesome multicolored Rex here. We have two of these. Hey, right. look at me. Okay, it doesn't want to cooperate in this video. Here's my Spino, no that's not my Spino, my Spino is this one here. Yeah, I'll show you the stats now, we recently got this as well, stuffed of food. Uh, 8k health, 8.5k health, uh, 767 damage. It's not too bad. Uh, we got loads of scorpions, mainly because of eggs, and we tamed another Ankylo just so we can fly it up to the volcano with this awesome thing. Leave it up there and just mine loads of metal up there, because it is really cool to do that. We get double our resources now. And then we have all those little tiny pets down there, raptors, stuff, and a mammoth. We actually carry the mammoth back from the snow biome with this. This thing is such a game changer. And it has unlimited stamina as well if you just stay in midair like this. It's pretty cool. It's a, definitely a new way of taming as well. I recommend you guys get one of these because if you want to tame anything like a Spino or X, just fly above it like this, shoot it, aggro it, and it just stands below you and it can't do anything. You just continuously shoot it and this doesn't run out of stamina. So 
we are all pretty good about that. Uh, some spark powder in here for our refining forges. <coughs> it's pretty awesome. I got these little campfires here for cooking prime meat whenever I'm out on the move. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Also, we got that behemoth gate there. We need that to stop sharks getting in because we had a very big. A very big tragedy happened not too long ago. Basically, I went AFK not knowing that. Well, I didn't realize that there was an AI shark in here and all our sharks were on passive. So, a level 8 AI shark killed three of our ones, only leaving little Nibbler down there. Little 93 Nibbler down there on his own. He lost all three of his friends. They all got destroyed by a level 8 newbie little shark. Just because I left him on passive and I didn't realise till it was too late. But he managed to survive as I ran out in time, whistled neutral and got him. And where do you think you are going? Come back here. Haha. <laughs> I am not going to shoot him because the beard will probably die and I'll get screamed at and hated on upon the whole tribe. I do not want that. But yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I've shown you our base. So you everything we have inside of it is pretty damn awesome. You should build somewhere around here. Oh, also, look at this. Quite done to the sign. It's pretty cool, right? It's a channel logo on it. Mark our territory. You're putting these on the volcano as well to stop people claiming it. Even though it's claimed by two tribes now, us and the second strongest, well, first strongest tribe in the game. On our server, sorry. And, yeah. It is pretty awesome. So guys, that's been pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you all so much for all the support and things. I really do appreciate it and I'm loving it so much. Just keep up the good work of all that liking, commenting and all that good stuff. It really does show me how much you enjoy my videos. I really do appreciate it. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.